today we are going to see in detail about how to take a anthropometric measurements. So what is anthropometric measurement? Anthropometric measurement here we need to check the baby's height, weight, head circumference, chest circumference, mid arm circumference, mid thigh circumference and abdominal circumference. Why we need to measure the anthropometric measurement? It will very uh, it will helpful to know the growth, normal growth and development of the child, to know the BMI of the child and uh, where, whether the child is having uh, protein energy malnutrition which uh, we can find out. So here for this procedure we need a weighing machine and we need a measuring tape and to mark the uh, measurements in the uh, notebook and the pen. Okay, so we will start the procedure. Okay, now we will see how to uh, take a measurement or the weight of the child. So first, while taking the measurement, we need to remove all the clothes of the baby. and we can keep the baby on the weighing machine. So here we will see the weight of the baby. Now we need to take the baby again, cover the baby properly. What's that? Now first of all we need to cover the baby, the other part so baby will not get the hypothermia. Now here we need to take an anthropometric measurement especially first uh, we need to take a head circumference of the baby. So for this you can take a measurement and centimeter side. Hold the baby's head and the occipital prominences keep the baby's uh, measuring tape on the occipital prominences and above the eyebrows and the need to measure the uh, head circumference in the centimeter in the on the gland. Then, whenever you are removing the measuring tape, don't uh, pull the measuring tape. The baby, because baby's uh, skin is very delicate and baby may get the injury. After the head circumference, now we we will check the chest circumference of the baby. Take the measuring tape round of the chest and on the above the nipples and here we will get the uh, chest circumference of the baby. After this we can take the abdominal circumference of the baby that is on the ambulic. Here we will get the uh, abdominal circumference. Now we need to measure the mid arm circumference of the baby. If you know the midpoint exactly of the arm, we can take it directly. But if you don't know, then we can uh, measure the uh, total length of from the uh, acromy to the elbow and take a midpoint and there on that midpoint we can take a measurement. So if the mid arm circumference is less, uh, less than 12.5 cm, it indicates child is having protein energy malnutrition and if it is 12.5 uh, and above then it is a norm. Same way we need to take a measurements of mid thigh. So here from the again here also if you know the midpoint we can take a mid, uh, thigh circumference but if we don't know then from the elytris to the knee joint we need to measure the Point and we can take the midpoint and over that midpoint measure the mid thigh circumference. Now here already we have seen head circumference, chest circumference, mid arm circumference, uh, circumference and mid thigh circumference. Now we will check the height of the baby. Okay now we, we will measure the height. So here if you have infantometer directly you can measure on the infantometer but if you don't have if the there is a two persons 
we can put the uh, one thumb surface above the head and then we need to for a while we need to straight the baby's legs and keep the one thumb surface and within this thumb to surface we need to measure the height or if there, there is nobody around with you then you can mark you can mark the points and you can measure the height of the baby as soon as possible after the finishing and from all anthropometric measurement you need to cover the baby so today we have learned about how to take anthropometric measurement in that head circumference chest circumference mid arm to circumference mid thigh circumference abdominal circumference and the uh, height and the weight of the chair thank you